Hey guys, I'm here to do a um, book a review today. Uh, please excuse my bed hair. Uh, so my review is going to be on Flowers in the Rain and other stories by Rose Mundy Pilcher. I'm not quite sure yet how to say her name, but I think that is it. Um, the back cover just says. To enter Rose Mindy Pilcher's world is to savour the simple joys of crisp country air and crackling log fires, the pleasure of family reunions and rediscovered friendships, so treat yourself and remember what really matters. Now, I love this book. I didn't give it a f uh, 5 star rating, I gave it a 4 star rating because one of my key things when I am reviewing a 5 star book, which I'm trying to keep pretty level, uh, is that I feel like there is some sort of um, something I haven't read before or yeah really it's really just something I haven't read before or a way that they've done it that I haven't read before and while some of the stories in this book or well, the vast majority of this, um, these stories did take a spin on um, situations that I hadn't heard before uh, these, m most of these um, were actually quite good. Um, the thing about this store, this um, collection of stories, is that it was really, really comfortable reading, like cozy reading. Um, often, I actually fell asleep after reading a couple of pages, not because it was boring, but purely because it was just wrapping yourself in a nice warm blanket and, I don't know, going by the fire. It was just really, really nice reads. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain that feeling, but it's the kind that, you know, when you're looking for a book in winter time or when it's really cold, and all you want to do is curl up and read a really good book that will make you feel warm and fuzzy. Well, that's the kind of book that it is. And it really is, it was quite fascinating. Um, I did also feel that some of the stories in the book were a little bit the same. There are a few stories that, yes, it did have a different take on them, but there's like two stories that sound very much alike in the same book, and that kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, not to a point that I hated it, but it frustrated me. Uh, but then again, it is a collection of short stories collaborated together, so it wasn't a full novel, so I wasn't too peeved about it. I would definitely recommend this to anyone, man or woman, though I think it would probably appeal more to women because it's, um, it's more of the romance side and I think it's probably geared to women, but men can definitely read it if they like romance. Uh, I don't really know, like I don't, I don't want to compare it to the people, but like, I felt like I, I had the same sort of satisfaction as reading like Monica McNerney, that kind of contemporary feel that talks about life and family and drama and you know love and death and all you know all that sort of stuff um, and the scenes as well like th that kind of uh, where the where the scenes and the scenery and location are part part of characters as well if that makes sense or characters on their own. So I would definitely, definitely recommend it on those merits. Uh, will I read another book by Rosemary Pil Pilcher? Yes, I will. I actually have three. <laughs> it's from the library. Because I just really enjoyed her books. And I think if you are um, wanting to take a break from YA and paranormal and all that sort of stuff and just escape, just escape and enjoy it. It was a nice cup of tea or coffee. Um, you could probably read it through a weekend. I didn't because I just wanted to savour it. Um, and that's how good it is too. Um, I wanted to just read a few at a time because I wanted to savour it and enjoy reading the book rather than rushing through it just to get through my challenge. Which I do know happens a lot, but I'm trying not to do that too. Um, I don't really... Uh, I'm just trying to think of stories that really stood out to me. Actually, I do have a list. Okay, so the stories that I gave a five star 
rating so far uh, in total uh, was the story endings and beginnings Christabel and the red dress and I thought those stories were really different and unique for me um, I won't spoil the stories because I think that it's like everything when you read a short story compilation it's really just good to just dip in not knowing what anything's about because I think you know I would like to know what it's about but at the same time all I want to know about these sorts of books is if it is worth reading and what kind of mood it sets when you read the book so um, yeah. so that is my thoughts review whatever you want to call it I know it's not much but that is just how I feel about the book so definitely pick it up and if you do I would love to hear your thoughts and feelings about the book um, and if you have heard about Rosemary Pilchard, um, if you know anyone who is recommended around her kind of writing, I think Maeve Binchy is connected in some way, that kind of writing style. So we'll see. But um, so far, so good. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Bye.